The fields, the cattle, the farm equipment of ancient times. This is rural India. The harvest determines feast or famine here, and so much more. Hey! Drought, debt, and desperation have pushed people to extremes in this north-central Indian region. To survive the bad years, some farmers turn to the Pesawala, Hindi for rich man, who lends money. But the high interest loans mount up and the lenders demand payment. Because of years of poor harvest in this district, some farmers say they are being forced to pay their debts with whatever the lenders ask for, including their wives. Do money lenders consider wives' possessions to be bought and sold? <laughs> Yes, she says, it happens sometimes when somebody borrows money. Did the money lender buy you? He did buy me. That's why he told me he bought me, she says. For 30 days, she says the rich man forced her to live with him. When she finally did reach police, she told them her husband had sold her. Then her case drew public attention. She retracted her report, and her husband has taken her back. Social scientist Rajana Kumari says exploitation of women is common here. And so is the result when a woman gets the nerve to file a case. Nobody is going to support and help them. If family decides not to help them, the system is already not so sensitized towards them, whether it is police, judiciary, whether the legal system. So uh, the women themselves tend to withdraw these cases. In another village, another farmer, another moneylender. I sold my water engine and land and gave back his 30,000 rupees. This farmer says the lender then asked that he send his wife to help with chores while the lender's wife was sick. He sent her and his children went too, but the mother never returned. He says she was stolen from him. State authorities say their new investigation found the mother does not want to return and left on her own to be with her lover. But the daughter, who says she lived with the lender and her mother, had a different story. Why did the moneylender take your mom away? What did he tell you? He said there was still some money owed and took my mom. The daughter also says she and her dad were told to keep quiet by some of the village leaders. While we visited, officials with the state magistrate's office pushed open the door of the farmer's house and started videotaping our interview. What is your name? Sera. Sera. Hmm. Channel? And why are you taking um, this Channel, information? Channel, Channel. Why are you taking this information? I want to know. That case aside, this government report says the region is prone to what it calls atrocities against women, including buying and selling them. Social workers say this isn't just about poverty. This also says a lot about the low social status of women in these parts. Those women are very vulnerable to all kinds of physical and sexual exploitation. And also there is much higher level of violence against women in that area. The government and charities have been trying to help, but the status of women and girls, often illiterate and seen as a financial burden, remains low. 14 years ago, this woman says she was sold to her husband by her own parents for the equivalent of $200. My mother and father got 10,000 rupees. That's why they sold me, she says. She was just 12 and never considered going to authorities because she says she had nowhere else to go. She accepted it as her destiny. With another severe drought this year, activists say more women and families may be traded off for their labor as they struggle to pay back the Pesewala.